We're mobile. Take Fox Sports 1350 with you using iHeartRadio. KTDD, Riverside, San Bernardino. Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Los Angeles Lakers. This is Xavier Henry from the LA Lakers. You're listening to IU Sports Network. Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside. I knew what that chime was. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I digress. <laughs> if you, uh, you know what? I can't wait. I'm gonna get you back for that. Just jumping in, you know, jumping in my yeah. my in my intro. But I was about to pitch in on a party. For sure. Okay. <laughs> my bad. No, I digress. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, Greg. Can we restart the music. No, 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 man. We, we no, we good. We let's, in the let's, game. Let's, we're gonna stop the show. Let's let's stop the show. There we go. Okay, let's start over. All right, Red. Let's go. All right. Coming from Riverside, California, <laughs> at the iHeartRadio studio. <laughs> We're live on IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile and Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to pitching on the party and it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here on Fox Sports 1350. You know, it's funny because uh, G Hollow listens to our conversation. All the time. And he's like the soundtrack of yeah, my life. Yeah, he always right. finds something for my life, you yeah. know? Well, I mean, you ain't the only one that has experience with DJ Quick. Bro. Well, my theme song in my life is Skilo. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. But I, I can say Brian 2.0 doesn't have that problem. <laughs> but Brian 1.0 does, right, right, you know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, wow, what a great uh, great Saturday going on. It's windy out there, folks, in the Inland Empire. So make sure y'all drive safe out there. Uh, the wind is whipping. And I, I always tell the story. You know, when, when when Brandy and I looked for the house, we bought the house in Fontana. Everything was fun. There it is. I wish I was a little bit taller. There you go, G. Olive. <laughs> We're doing everything. We're doing the walkthrough, everything. No no problems. They give us a pin. We sign. Realtor's like, let's talk about these Fontana wins. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I've already signed. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, yeah. Smart man. You need to give him some coffee because he got you good on that I've one. I've been there 11 years. My fence has already blown down three times. Oh, yeah. Yes, it has. Oh, yeah. yes, oh it no. Has. For real. No. But, uh, were you lucky that it was just that? Uh-huh. Run like a tree or something. Uh, again, man, great city, uh, great, uh, great day going on, man. It's NBA playoffs right now. Playoffs? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, our, you know, our our guys are, uh, our, you know, our guy Riverside Kawhi is doing his thing, which is always good. Tell me about that. I did not see it because I was. We were texting the other day, and you said he had a stretch that was was. It was uh, just bananas. Man. It was LeBron James like the greatest player ever. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hear this dude right here. This dude's crazy. Yo, but no, he had a uh, – and that was actually the overtime game where they lost, uh, where he really had a – actually, he went down there and just went like – it was just bananas. It was like – he was getting steals, coming down, pulling threes. You know, Kawhi's was really – you know, and and even the coach, uh, the coach uh, for the um, – for the Grizzlies. Well, take take that for data. Right. right. <laughs> he said he said he was like he's like I think they get him any freeze. I mean, he, he was just saying like how this dude is just always on. Um, he was even making mention that he said he plays with his son uh, out in the air. So he was even giving compliments to the area. Like yeah, I'm familiar with the kids in that area. He's uh-huh. like they play basketball out there. So which is good, you know, you know, and um, uh, but it was just you know he was very very complimentary of of Kawhi, you know, uh, in, in defeat. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the playoffs are going on right now, man. So I'm really, look, I'm excited about what, what Kawhi Leonard is doing right now for those Spurs. Well, Kawhi, he said it, man. He said, "I've been in the league for a couple of years. You ain't gonna rook us." So that's what that's what he said. You know, <laughs> you <ain't laughs> don't spit out us. your coffee. Now. I got. I know he got pedigree, but you ain't gonna rook <laughs> us. I'm surprised he hasn't got a cell phone company to call him and do a commercial for that. Just I know. Yet. For you real, know, for real, yeah. They 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 got had the t-shirts. You ain't gonna rook us. We're gonna use that for a soundbite. That was beautiful. Exactly. That you was know, beautiful. one thing that I'm excited about is coming up in May. Yes. Uh, we have a huge, huge contest, and we have to make sure we put this out there. We've had a lot of our 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 listeners out there, and it's funny because people say that women are not involved in in sports talk or sports events. They are. I have a, a wife. We have three kids. Mm-hmm. She, my uh, Brandy was always my team mom. She was always there. And it, you even said at the banquet, she, when, when she was doing the, the one oh, time yeah. we were giving the kids food, she was like the banquet mom. Guaranteed. Um, so, you know, she we were on the phone talking one night, and she perked up when I when I said, we got a gift from uh, Glenn Ivey. She's like, uh, I'm like, wait, right, hold up. Yeah, right, right, right. You, the, the fine print is you, you cannot right. enter the contest. Right, right. You, you can't win. It's not like somebody who did the All-Star game and won the 50-50. Right. <laughs> but um, you, can't, you can't win. You can't be involved. Right. Um, but we got a great thing going on. Should, should, I, should I put respect on it? Or you, want, you want to go ahead and read well, that? No, no. We, we got to put respect on it. Do your thing, brother. All right. Attention, Inland Empire Sports moms. And, you know, this is your writing, so I got to make sure I, 
you know, it's all jumbled up, but we'll, we'll make it happen. What is the ultimate Mother's Day gift? A massage, a facial, body treatment. How about a makeover by, what is the young lady that's, that's doing the- uh, Sherry J. Sherry J. Talk about little Sherry. Sherry- you just, <laughs> <laughs> you just, what, what is this dude? Get him out of here. Right, right. Uh, no, but uh, Sherry J, a renowned hairstylist uh, out of Corona. Uh -huh. uh, she's going to be assisting in the hair makeover, uh, which is going to be really great. You know, it's a, you know, it's a basically a wash condition, you know, cut and style. Uh -huh. uh, so you're going to come up out of there looking whipped and nay nate. Now, does she have a uh, Facebook website or Instagram that we can we, we I, can probably get it in, in the break? Yes, yeah, we'll get it in the break. But again, the information is on our IE Sportsnet website. As okay. Well, so, yeah. Okay. So you to get information, you guys got to listen here. You got to make sure you go on to our, our face. How can they get a hold of us? They so get, oh, so, so what you're going to want to do is uh, if for folks who want to participate, how you participate is you go on to IE Sportsnet, IESportsnet.com. And you'll you'll find the uh, the link there for the sports mom. We have a nice little page up, and you're gonna have to email in your story about your sports mom. You want to? We're looking for stories that you know about what your sports mom did for you. This is a Mother's Day gift, so we want to we want to hear your story. Hey, my sports. You know, my mother. You know, when I was playing basketball, she drove around the whole team. You know, she went to got she went to get bagels for the coach, coffee, et cetera, et cetera. We want to hear your story. Right, right. And then I hear Randy Carrington won. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my wife is Brandy Arrington, yeah. so it's, it, Randy Carrington is not related to me. And Randy with an eye. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Holla, thank you. Very appropriate. This dude right here, he's, he, you know, we're trying to get him together. But, no, it's going to be great. Again, the value is almost up to, like, $350. That's just Glenn Ivy. And, well, no, well, well, no, because Glenn Ivy is two hundred almost fifty. Okay, uh, but but with me just speaking on it, that's worth at least five hundred. That okay, right. it, it cost me five hundred just to breathe on it. I mic. mean, just to show up, you know. <laughs> so, and, and and I gotta tip my tip my cap to to Eternal. Uh, this was your idea. This was your thought to do the sports mom. So, and I think it's it's getting, giving us really good traction because I look on our Facebook page. We've got a lot of uh, I, guess, I shares saw that last year. Good, good follows. Stuff. Good job, man. Um, good. On there. When when are we going to announce the winner? When are we going to do all that? So now that's gonna. I, I believe that's gonna happen. Is that gonna happen next week? Is I, I think. Or, or was that gonna be happen that 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 Saturday before Mother's Day? Well, that uh, you tell me. It's your but, it's well, your contest. Well, so so <laughs> I, I I do believe it's gonna be the Saturday before Mother's Day, which is Mother's Day is the fourteenth, if I'm not mistaken. Uh huh. We got to make sure I that Sherry knows that. about that. <laughs> we got to make sure we got we got to get them all set up. So and, and I'll tell you this, you know, Glenn Ivy has been around since the 1800s, I believe. Uh, I so it's, it's the third. So hold on, just to confirm. There you go. We're we're gonna be announcing the winner uh -huh. on, the, on, on the 13th. Okay? Uh huh. So again, the winner will be notified on the 13th, and we will have representatives up here as well, uh, making sure that they talk about some of the great gifts. So Mother's Day is on the 14th. We're giving away the the great the the package, the Mother's Day gift package, um, which is Glen Ivy Springs uh, hair makeover by uh -huh. Sherry J. Mm -hmm. It's going to be going down. Kofi. And for Glen Ivy, they're going to get the the uh, water general emission for two. They're going to get the uh, come on now, Coach Brito. Grotto massaging. Uh, treatment for two. For two. Spa lunch for two. Man, and have you seen that place? Uh, you know what? The funny thing is I bought multiple uh, gift cards there. Okay. But I have not been in. I, I went there to the, uh, uh, what do you call that, the the uh, gift shop, and I bought Brandy multiple gift cards, but I have yet to be in there. Let me tell you something. It is a place. It It, it is. You go up in there, and you want to, like, you just want to just be in the moment. You know, uh -huh. I mean, you, know you see these, those yoga commercials where you just you want to just be in the moment. It's really, really nice. Um, whomever wins this, uh -huh. you're going to get a really special package. Randy uh, Carrington. So, <laughs> so, again, so again, what we want to make sure we tell folks is you want to make sure that you write in. Uh, again, you contact IE Sports Net. You go to IESportsNet.com. Again, IESportsNet.com. You click on our Mother's Day gift package link, and there'll be information right there. You're going to have to write in your sports mom story. We'll be pulling from the stories, and we have a committee of folks up here who are going to be making the judge, uh -huh. making the judgment, excuse me, 
and we'll announce that that winner on the 13th of May. And again, I apologize to all the sports moms out there. <laughs> I could not offer the the grand prize I wanted to uh, an evening with Coach B. Um, <laughs> that that was uh, vetoed dead uh, by Mrs. Coach B. Uh, so that so I just want to apologize. Right, right, right. For all the people uh, out there, that I, I, I and, and I know the sports moms are just like I, they want to renege right now. Right, they, right. Thank you, Holla. Thank you, Holla. They're like they're that. like you know what, Glenn Ivy is not. Nice, but I wanted the real prize. Right. So, you know, I, I'm so, Brandy won the real prize. You also, know? we need to make sure we make this announcement as well. Uh, we are also in, in the midst of giving away tickets for the 99-1 uh-huh. Salsa Festival. Uh-huh. It's going to be taking place in the great city of... Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's going to be taking place in the great city of Riverside, California at White Park. Uh-huh. It's going to be going down again. It's the 99-1 Salsa Festival. We're really excited about this. Uh, you know, I think we're giving away 10 tickets, if I'm not mistaken. Right, be. right, so, right. So, you know, folks are going to get an opportunity. We're giving stuff away. The right. free, so. So, you know, I, I don't know if you'll be there, but the one, the only, Coach B will be oh, I'm in the side. house. I'm, I'm oh, in there. Oh, guaranteed. Oh, man. We in a, You might can see. I'm, <laughs> you know, people come, they see me, they're like, hey. And who you know, that? funny thing is you said people recognized you last year, correct? Yes, indeed. That was wild. That was kind yeah, of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good stuff, man. I'm, I'm yeah. You, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break. Well, we're excited about on the show today. Uh, last year, did we have a, a, a Riverside San Bernardino football game? Yes, we did, sir. The two fifteen classic is what they call yes, it, right? Yes, we did, sir. Okay. And so, I'm talking, when I say we had a game, we had a game. It came down to the last seven seconds. Wow. Uh, what a great game. Uh, Coach Jason McMain's. Coach for Riverside Carnegie Schools, a school that you attended yes. uh, back in the day, a school oh, yeah. that you attended. And then one of the guys, Coach Ron, uh, he was at Sanji. Now he's taking over the reins. Brand new coach. Corona High School. He's going to be here on IE Sports. Now. And then Mike Linscog. You know, I bleed Dodger blue. Love talking about the Dodgers of tomorrow. Uh, Mike Linscog should be calling in at the bottom of the hour. So Fantastic. It's going to be really good stuff. So are we ready to take a quick commercial break? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and do this. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial Financial compensation. Call 800 282 8605 now. All right, guys, we're ready for our four season sunroom, and daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, 
and we are proud sponsors of the Indian Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. This is Ryan Kelly with the L.A. Lakers. And this is the I Sports Net. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeart Radio Studios. It's IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. We're excited about Eternal. Last year, as we said, had a great game. 215. Explain everyone what the 215 is once again. Well, the, the 215 freeway. is the t- right. Uh, the 215 freeway. Uh, that is like the sector runs runs through both Riverside and San Bernardino. No, it runs through San Bernardino and Riverside. No, it runs through Riverside. <laughs> this guy. Hey, coach, if you just want to just like just hit him with a little two piece jab right there, yeah, we, we're good with that. Uh, but no, it, it is the uh, it is the, the, the freeway that connects both cities, and uh, we uh, we thought. Hey, what a great idea uh-huh. uh, to really, because, uh, again, that represents both San Bernardino and Riverside. I think we're, we're, everybody's familiar with that. Right. And we thought, hey, what a, what a great idea to really bring both cities together under that name. It's one of the local freeways that only locals really know about, because outside of it, people think of the 10, the 60, the 15, but they don't think about that 215. So right. we're, we're excited. We're joined in studio by River Riverside Carnegie School's Football coach Jason McMahon's on IE Sportsnet Fox Sports 1350 with Coach Being Eternal, and he was the first coach representing Riverside County in the 215 Football Classic. I love the fact that when you brought his shirt in today, Coach, it was in my size. <laughs> it was not Eternal size because it was a man size. So I, I certainly appreciate you doing that, Coach. Right, Coach. Well, Oh, no, please. Well, well, since he represents San Bernardino and, and they, they got us, I, I got to give it to him. Right, you know? right, 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 you right. Know? We did have it all the way up until the last, what, 22 Coach, seconds or something. I, I, I really wanted to start it off the show just like that. Uh, we had one of the other coaches uh, from the uh, – from the. Uh, he was an upper Christian coach, right. and now he's going to be at Arroyo Valley. Yes. Right, exactly. He was working with Coach, Coach Robbie. Okay. And right. – and, we were just taught. We were letting him know about that the 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 the, the, uh, the basically the the course of events that were going on at the at the end of that game. Yeah. And I told him, we're we're right there. We're giving you the sheet, going, hey, who's going to be your MVP? Because the MVP goes to the winner. Yes. So we're right there with you guys trying to figure out who's going to be yeah. the MVP. And I mean, and right there, coach. I mean, coach, you take it from there. I mean, we'll go. What what happens? You you, you know, it was. Uh, well, I'll, I'll say this. I, I went to the Riverside game the night before. Right. You know, and then I watched a little bit of the San Bernardino game after ours. Uh, I I was so, you know. I was so honored to be a part of that game. I thought that was by far the best All Star game of the weekend. Yes, you know? yes. And, and I was proud of all the players, not just yes. from my team, yes. but the San Bernardino uh, team and the coaches. I think we put on a great show. You yeah. know, right. and uh, we just like to erase the last twenty two seconds, <laughs> you know, uh, of the game. Like Stanford, uh, they said it didn't yeah. exist in that last yeah, right, right. count. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, but. You know, what a great game to be a part of. The excitement. We were just on the wrong end of it. And, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we'll take the positives more than we'll take the oh, last, yeah. that last play. It, it was know. a really, really good game. Really good game. Well coached. Everybody did a phenomenal job. Well coached. Well played. I yeah. mean, you got to give it all to the players. Right. I and mean, they, they right. came in with, you know, about, you know, with us, I, I think the challenging part for us was 
because we were all small schools. Right. We couldn't find time during the week to practice. Uh, right, right. Because they were all playing soccer or, or basketball. Right. And we didn't want to take away from those teams. Right. So right. me and Coach VP had to find ways on the weekends. I remember that. You mm-hmm. yeah. know, to find time to get those kids in. You wow. know, I remember the, the week before the Riverside, the, the bigger school games, they were practicing during the week, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so they got a little bit more time in preparation before our kids were, you know, a couple days here and there. Right. And then they still were able to put on a show. So it got to give it all the credit to the kids and how well they played. And you had a kid that played in both games. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We had a couple. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah, had, yeah. we had a couple and uh, both those guys just balled out. I yeah. mean, our, our quarterback, oh, Adam, yeah. I mean, I was just amazed watching him, you That's know, great. And, and, and then obviously Nick Alvarez was a def- uh, defensive end, outside linebacker for both for both mm-hmm. games. So they, yeah. they did a great job. Mm-hmm. Fantastic, Coach. And, again, like I said, we really thank you a lot for your commitment with that. Oh, obviously, that took it, commitment, so it we was, appreciate it. It was a great honor, man. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Now, Coach, also, uh, we know a new football season coming up, spring ball. Uh, but I want to talk through a little bit about – what were you, you know? What your what? How you feel about your team? I mean, you're you're, you're going through. A, I mean, it's, it's it's a lot of new stuff going on at your school. Yeah. But maybe you know, a spring right now. What's happening up there at your school right now? Well, we're we're just excited to have a full spring practice coming up. You know, mm-hmm. last last year um, when we we started up in in January, we we didn't have very many guys. I mean, we would have a workout of maybe five or six kids. You right. know, uh, we tried to have a spring practice last year. Uh, maybe, maybe we were lucky to get 11, you know? Mm, right. um, so things didn't happen for us until about mid-June uh, when we got some players in, and, and then we were able to kind of see our team, you know, grow from there. Right. But no weight room, no no, no, um, no ability to ha- kind of have an offseason last year. This year now, it, it's completely different. We've started, you know, we, we got a full-on workout facility. Right, right. Um, so we've been doing that since January. So just nice. the strength aspect and pro- improving that for our team is huge. Right. And then we're excited to have, we'll have a full three-week spring practice coming up. Nice. That we're getting ready for, and we're, we're ready to go. We're excited about that. So I think that will definitely kind have of an impact really, on your yes, season. have oh, a yeah. huge impact this yeah. year. And one thing that I and, and, and you know kind of to touch bases back again on the uh, the two fifteen. One thing that I like to talk about because your kids, we've gone to a lot of the smaller schools. We've seen them practice. We see them prepare. They work just as hard as kids in the quote unquote power oh, yeah. power schools. Oh, yeah. And one of the reasons that we created the uh, the small schools game is Coach VP at Upland Christian. He expressed how the kids in the smaller schools they don't get a chance to be recognized. Mm-hmm. And you know one thing that we said is, is the two fifteen was probably the better game of the three. And what we like is you guys. Guys, it was kind of the apex of the game right at the end because the game went a little bit long and then the big schools game was coming so we had the crowd bleed over for both crowds yeah. and you heard heard that that roar at the end. unfortunately it was the touchdown pass at the end you loved it you yeah, loved it. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. yeah. Uh, but but <clears throat> I'll, I'll say to you I mean and you coach at the small school um, at Riverside Carnegie what was it like because some of those kids they don't they don't even really play in fields and I, what was it like for them? To, to see that and to be in that big stage. Well, I, I, again, I, to be on that stage for for those kids, I think, you know, especially to end their high school career. Right, you know, right. What was, was there, you know, I think definitely a top uh, experience for them. Right. You know, um, but it, it was important for those guys to really showcase their skills. I mean, you know, you see that receiver that made the play, and I forget his name. But I, I've never seen a, a receiver that big and that fast yeah. all yeah. year. You yeah, know? he's from the Netherlands. You know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and and not just in our division, but through I go to a lot of high school games. Yeah, I haven't right. seen a kid like that. Yeah. You know, out on the edge. Yeah. You know, yeah. make those plays. So yeah. that was impressive to see a kid like that. And then too, we had unfortunately he couldn't play, but you know, one of our own linemen. Yeah. Um, you know, he's six six two ninety. He signed with San Diego State, and he was on his recruiting trip uh, that weekend, so we couldn't get him to, to play in that game. But yeah. you got guys like that in that division. You know, right. Micah Roth was our running back, and he's going to Azusa Pacific on nice. a full ride scholarship. Right. So there's guys that can play ball, yeah. and, and just to be able to, you know, see those guys out there in that in that situation. And then two, when that last play happened you know, the roar of the crowd, it yeah. was, it, you know, and I can just still see when that guy crosses the, the whole San Bernardino. Oh, yeah, there, there was the back. Yeah. Right yeah. there. You know, and I, so yeah. I thought that, that was great. That especially, was, yeah. especially when, you know, like you said, both games were, were ending and starting. You had you probably had the biggest crowd yes, at that time. Yes, right there. Certainly. Right there. 
There you go. Yeah, and he ran little, right into the, the arms yeah. of the San Bernardino yes. uh, team. So, yeah. and, and, you know, I mean, we couldn't have scripted it better, Coach. Right, I'm telling right, you, man, right. It was just great. And, you know, Coach, uh, looking at last season, like we said, it was your first year at Riverside Carnegie School, and you said you got a little bit of a, a late start. Mo- but most people know that, that that school was a power under former Coach uh, DeWoody. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to say your first year, you guys went 7-4, 4-0 in league. You won a, a league championship, and you received a playoff bid. Has that success translated, like we were talking off air, you're getting more kids excited about the football yep. program and going, going out. And then you look like Michigan, so we, do you, we do, do. I don't we see do. any khakis on we, you. No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll, you'll see them at the game. You know, see them right at the game. He's, like, oh. He's like, they do exist. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. They definitely do. <laughs> I like it. Has that helped your program going into the Tre- new year? Tremendously, you know, and um, – we, we've had a lot of good feedback, a, a lot, a lot of, like you said, w- with the success we had after our first year, uh, and then obviously being able to have a full off season uh-huh. under our belt that we started back in January nice. has been huge. And, and and the kids on campus, you know, we're getting more and more, and we're getting more and more cross athletes that right. that want to play. You know, I'm, right. getting, I'm you know I'm getting more interest from baseball kids that want to come out, basketball kids that want to come out. So. Um, that's just going to help our numbers grow. We're really anticipating looking at, you know, we had a roster of about 32 last year. Mm-hmm. We're almost getting to about that 50 range. Oh, you nice. Know? nice. So nice. that, that you know, if we can get that number, uh, that that's going to be huge for us. And nice. I know Eternal had the question, but I want to ask you something. Now that you mentioned that, and you've, you've said that uh, because of the All-Star Game, because of your program, and one thing that we've seen, uh, d- full disclosure, I have a son at Etiwanda, and he runs track and plays football, and I think it's important for him to play multiple sports. Oh, big time. But you see a lot of uh, the big programs specializing mm-hmm. where, where where kids are – coaches are holding on to kids and don't want them to do multiple programs. You always hear about D1 college coaches saying they want kids to play multiple programs. Uh, has that been a challenge for you? Has it helped you round your athletes? or Because it, they're playing multiple sports. You know, you, you as, as a head football coach, you always – you always see that as a challenge because you know what other programs are doing. Right. You know. Right. Um, so we we have our season. Uh, you know, we have our off season program in place. We have alternate, you know, workouts or, or ways that are are you know cross sport athletes can still get workouts in. You know. Okay. So, nice. So we get in their head that a you know working out and 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 building up you know for the next year is very important but we want you to do other sports mm. you know basketball baseball so we don't want we're never going to say no don't do it that's right. good that's good so and, and then too from a, you know from a small school you, you need all your best right, athletes right. to do other stuff you oh, know yeah. and then too our, our, our <clears throat> musical theater arts mm-hmm. program at carnegie is amazing and so i have more i've never had you know this many football players you know, in actually hey, musicals. Hey, let me tell you and something. I, and I respect choir. that. I, I love that. My and, son's hey, in choir. Well, hold he on a second. It. And let me tell you something. Coach, I am a, I am a, a thespian. He's a thespian. I'm yes. a thespian yes. coach. And I, let me tell you something. They used to, but they, he's not an athlete. But, but no, no. <laughs> hey, I, I was doing I was doing simultaneously doing theater and, and on the oh, gridiron. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. So, so I mean, I wrestled, ran track. So, I mean, it's a, one of the things I could tell you, just from that, just kind of build on your point, just some, somebody that's actually done it, not this guy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I was in I was in theater, yeah. but I, I'm not a thespian. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, one of the things that I, I enjoyed about it, you meet people and you learn different stuff from different people. Like for me, one of the things I learned is wrestling has the toughest workout. Like I mean, and I, I, I've never experienced anything like that in terms of just working out. I mean, my diet now is because of what I experienced and, and you know trying to keep right. weight in wrestling. So this certain, and then you, and then you meet different people. You know, you learn different stuff. So that's why I'm always an advocate of going out there and doing different things. You know, I don't ever want to go. Are oh, you just a football guy? Especially while you can, because when you know when you become a doe, that's it. You know, you're pretty, you're pretty much kind of like kind of pointing in a certain direction. But, but while don't you're real young, wrestlers have cauliflower ears. <laughs> I mean, let me tell you something. Coach is like, yeah. No, but, hey, no. Let me tell you something. I, I saw that day one, and I carried my headgear everywhere. I, I didn't go. And, and if you ask anybody who went to Ramona, I, I kept my headgear with me. I, I was, I was frightened by that. that yeah. I, I didn't want that at all. You didn't want to be a real wrestler. Is what you're well, saying. You can call it what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, but, uh, real quick, uh, last question. I wanted to make sure I ask you before oh, yeah, you, go ahead, before go you ahead. got out of here. Uh, now, Coach, again, this is going to be your uh, your second season coming up. Yeah. Tell us some kids that you're excited about that are coming. Mean, obviously, you, you're, you're complimentary of your team, but maybe tell us about some kids that are coming out that you're really excited about that you're going to you've seen this next this, this last year and now that are coming back for you. Well, you know, it, like I said, I'm impressed with you know from top to bottom all nice. our kids and the work that they're putting in. Um, 
you know, I'm actually from here heading out. We got a Saturday morning <laughs> practice that I got to get to. Nice. And, and, and so all those kids are waiting and ready to go. Uh, but we got we got a kid by the name of Francis Bemi, 6'4", 220, uh, kid out of uh, Montreal. And uh, he was a 2,000-yard rusher for us, wow. played outside linebacker, and, and, and he's only a junior. So he's actually going to the uh, – the Nike uh, opening regional camp nice. up in Oakland okay. uh, later this later in May. Okay. Um, so he's doing that and just going to a lot of different. Co- he's getting a lot of interest. A lot of schools coming out looking at him. Right. You know. And then we got you know uh, a bunch of defensive players coming back. Yeah. You know, we got this kid named Eric Hanlon who's an inside linebacker who was a freshman and led our team in tackles. Nice. Ricardo Cruz who's another kind of hybrid linebacker safety. Yeah. You know, coming back. Uh, Joseph Green. Who's you know a basketball and football player? Nice. He was a freshman. Come, so you know we have great kids coming back, and they're so young. And yeah. I think that's the exciting part, right? You know of our program and how we want to build it up. I know? heard. Well, it's exciting for Riverside, yeah. Coach. I mean, everybody talks really highly of the program. They talk highly of you, and I'm excited just for Riverside just to kind of see your program do well because I mean, for a while, you know, there wasn't a lot going on in that area. I mean, you know, the good kids coming through there, obviously, but in terms of just kind of like the light being on you. Uh, yeah. But now, obviously, you guys have turned the lights on over there. So, so again, compliments to, to the staff and, and, the, and the whole school over there. Thank you very much. Yes, I sir. really appreciate the time here, man. Absolutely. Yes, I know you got to get to practice, but you've said before that you will help in this year with the 215 as well. Oh, I'll help every year. <laughs> we got it on tape. We got it on tape now. Oh, yeah, so. hey, yeah. I, we got, like I said, I want to erase the 22 sex. I want to bring Riverside, Riverside, you know, the championship right. that they deserve. Right, you know? right. So, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Coach, man. You, you've been, again, you've been great. Uh, we, we thank you. Uh, thanks a, a million, man, for all, for your, really your staff. And you bought that shirt. Yeah, you yeah, bought that That polo. was in my size. So. No, no, no. Because let me tell you something. It's Riverside. So either we're going to frame it. Yeah. Are we going to draw some sticks? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not your size, so don't worry about it. So <laughs> I, I wear a nice T-shirt up under there. <laughs> but once again, we want to thank Coach. Jason McMahon's. I was about to say Carnegie. Jason McMahon's head football coach of Riverside Carnegie Schools yes, football. Sir. He's off to Saturday practice. It never stops for a coach. I like that, it man. It never I like ends. That, man. He's uh, in the grass. In the grass. Got a great season coming up. Ambassador League games. And then he has a great non-league schedule as well. Bosco Tech, Indian Spring, Temesco Canyon, and Verbin Day. So, yes. good luck yes. to you this year. We Thank wish you the best. Stay in contact. We when, Once you get the, the season started, we'll have you back in, bring some players, and, and oh, we'll make sure, sure we'll, we'll definitely sure. stay in contact. Uh, so thank you so much. You ready to take a commercial break? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. There you go. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa. Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled Entitled to substantial financial compensation, call 800 282 8605 now. All right, guys, we're ready for our four season sunroom, and daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh no, we'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. 
Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Indian Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? Wait, what? Yes, we are live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. You know, I'm excited whenever I think of my athletic failures. <laughs> I, I think of, you know, I was joking around with this with this gentleman, and I was talking about USC, USC. He showed me a ring and said, well, I played. I won a Rose Bowl at UCLA. So yeah, I was he, like, you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's something I will never forget. Yeah, you, boy, Ooh, I, I, I watched from the sideline more than <laughs> I, I watched from the sideline. Hey, but but, but, real. but hey, 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 all my UCLA teammates will be calling. I'm about to say, <laughs> say man, don't be lying on yourself yeah, now. Hey, 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 that's one thing. That's one thing. Real. And that's one thing about this radio thing. You got to be real. I had my I had my alma mater on uh, last week, and I had to make sure I was honest about this, about the reality on it because, you know, folks going to retweet that. They're going to see that. So And just to keep it real at Downey, I watch from the sidelines, too. So... <laughs> Actually, the bleachers. Right, so. exactly. <laughs> Harry, to get up there. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, we, we are we are we are joined in the studio by Coach Ron. He just made the transition. He was at San G for a while. Now he's over at Corona High School on IE Sportsnet Fox Sports thirteen fifty with Coach B in Eternal. How you doing this morning, Coach? I'm doing fantastic. A uh, little bit of the hiccups here. <laughs> But I'm hanging in here. Hey, hey, that's all good, Coach. Hey, you know, and, and again, thank you so much for making the trip out. Uh, we know you have a lot going on right now. So, again, we're excited about it. But, Coach, I mean, last season, my goodness, Coach, what a ride. Uh, you know, you recently accepted the coaching position uh, that was vacant over at uh, Co- at um, Corona High School. Uh, but t- talk to us a little bit about last year over at San Gregorio, how you were able to turn a 2-3 and three season uh, into a CIF Division Seven. Uh, championship and a state bowl appearance. Well, we turned that in, and I said we instead of me. Uh, we turned that into a successful year because I had great football players who were committed, who really grind. We had a great coaching staff as well who uh, de- decided that two and three wasn't the answer for us, and we sta- stayed in in the hunt and the, and the journey and went through the proce- process and came out on top. Um, Guys like Tyreek Jones, uh, who played exceptionally well. Uh, Caleb Hayes, who uh, is going to Oregon State. Tyreek is going to Boise State. Nice. Um, uh, Xavier Leslie, who who probably might have been our MVP, who played defensive end for us. Uh, A guy by the name of J.R. Goyes, who was a two-time All-CIF offensive and defensive lineman. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Gabriel Mergel, who was the captain on the defense, who led us through things, and Day Day uh, Williams. So we just had an exceptional guy. We had a lot of guys uh, who just were committed and, and, and refused to lose, and we knew it was going to be a journey. We went through some, some tough games, had some turnovers, but 
we were undersized, especially right. the uh, defensive side of the football, and we had guys who just did a great job. Great job. I also left out uh, Pika Fakava, who was the CIF defensive MVP of, of our division. So all those guys made huge impacts. Uh, a lot of guys who named you, you, we didn't hear. Yeah. They all stayed in the grind. They all stayed positive. What our coaching staff doing a great job. We played great defense the rest of the way in the Northern Vista game. We held their great running back to 250. Now, yeah. when you say 250, yeah, <laughs> everybody going to go, oh, you held them to 250. Yeah, right, right, right. That, that kid was 55 special. 55 carries. Yeah. Oh, wow. 55 right. carries. So yeah. When you start talking those kind of numbers and in the huge size those guys had, our guys just did a two, two minutes job of fighting and, and working real hard and keep keeping us in the game, and we turned out to be successful. Fantastic, Coach. And again, like I said, we're, we're right here live on IE Sportsnet. We have uh, Coach Coach Ron. Uh, you know, again, another another question I, I want to make sure that we ask here. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, your championship was the first championship for uh, San Bernardino Public Schools since Cajon did it back in 87. Uh, the San G Athletic Director was quoted uh, saying, you always do the right thing on and off the field. Uh, you sent countless players from San G into Division One. Uh, including UCLA starter Nate Medor. Nate the Great. Nate the Great, our guy right there. Uh, talk about how difficult that decision was leaving that what you you know how you what you created over there at that 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 uh, that foundation you created over at San G and now making the transition over to Corona. Well, it's very it was very difficult. Number one, uh, we had a freshman team that that went ten and zero. We had several guys coming back on the varsity. We were excited about the future. We we were leaning towards, now we were starting to own uh, the city of San Bernardino in a lot of ways. Um, you got to give Cajon some credit. They, they're they playing really well, too. And right. Coach Rogers does a great job there. But we had guys like Nate Metters, uh, who's starting at UCLA right now, doing a great job. Shemaya, yeah. Unitoa, yeah. Whitson. Uh, Tyreek's got a scholarship. Caleb Hayes has got a scholarship. We have a kid named Aaron Rodgers who uh, is going to Avila University. Mikael Berry, who's at San Jose State. These guys were the foundation of the program. They built it. Right. They helped with us. And when you got guys who are successful and then they're successful in the college level as as well, uh, they built San G to what it was. Uh, my coaching staff, uh, and, and a shout-out to uh, Richard McClure, who's – now the head football coach at San Gregorio. So uh, all those guys put blood, sweat, and tears into a program that uh, we took and elevated it to a new level. And uh, always going to be hard to leave. Uh, in the freshman class, we got some guys, uh, Lorenzo McMillan, who started every every game as a true freshman. Uh, uh, Kenny Lawler, uh, Kenzel Lawler. I was going to say Kenny Lawler's little brother, oh, wow. Kenzel Lawler, who's going to be an outstanding quarterback. Young guys like uh, Javon Fryson and, 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 and Jalen Matthews, what guys who were coming back like Perrion, uh, Oferford, and uh, uh, Kamate Rogers. So all those guys have built that program, and, and they're going to be really good. And it's always hard to leave because it, I came to San G to give back. Right. Everything mm-hmm. I'd done as a football coach was to give back. So when uh, Mr. Mayer talked about doing the right things on and off the field, we care about kids' academics. We care about the character of the kids. We care about making them successful men. Right. And, and, and in, in the future, whether they're playing football or not, they're successful because they gain and and and, uh, and learn uh things that's going to make a special hard work a good work ethic right, right. how to be a member of a team how to build for success you know uh, attaining goals and reaching goals and and set setting goals so all those things were a factor in those guys being s- successful and they built the foundation that sanji will still grow and get better because uh they got a new quality head football coach there but it was also re- Really tough because I love those kids. You yeah, know? man. Uh, we, we talk about uh, where we at now. Some guys playing and like it. 
you got to live it and love it yeah. if you want to be a football player today. Yeah. And once again, we're in joined in studio by Corona High School new head football coach, Coach Ron G. And, you know, Coach, uh, going back to the city of Corona is a bit of a, a homecoming for you. You were the head football coach at Corona Centennial prior to Matt Logan, and you take over the Corona uh, High School, a program that finished 2-8 and eight last season, 0-5 in league. Uh, when you talk about what you did at, at San G and the way you've built it, I mean, you've left an incredible program. How do you get that same result at Corona? Well, number one, it takes football players and a, and a good coaching staff, and I've been blessed. They have some guys buy in and, and, and join my coaching staff, and we're going to coach in a fast-paced, hard, but relentless, you know, effort all day, every day. Mm -hmm. We're going to be grinders, but the Next day, you need football players. Right, and then, right. You know, we have some young guys who are uh, talented. We have Mo Moses DeAnda. Uh, Moses is our quarterback coming back. We have a young man named Disco Joss. Disco's going to do some great things. Uh, we have some kids who are coming to the program that we just think going to do some great things. I don't know. I, I really can't elaborate on that right now, but uh -huh. we've got guys – who uh, who have come into our school? School, they're gonna make an impact, and that's what it takes. It takes uh, guys who, you know, it takes players. Uh, I can be the greatest coach in the world. I, everybody could think I'm mediocre. Mm -hmm. I'll take great players all the time. I'll take guys with great character who want to win, <laughs> and we got guys like that, and we're heading in the right direction as a football coach. You just got to be in the grind 24-7. You got to be out there, out there. And we'll build a great family family atmosphere and getting guys who want to play for us. And those hiccups are getting to you, Coach. But uh, one thing I want to say, uh, looking at your resume, you've had success at multiple places. You were a head coach at Moreno Valley's Valley View at Encino's Crespi, and you were an assistant coach at Elsinore and RCC. Uh, one thing that I found is, that is fascinating about you when I was doing my research is Jason Mitchell was one of your players at Centennial. Uh, what is that like now that uh, you're going to be coaching over there and one of your players is the AD? That, that's got to be – it's full circle. Well, you know what? Uh, even go further, Jason's dad was the principal ah. at uh, Centennial when I was hired, and he was the guy who hired me. So it, it was like family coming back. Uh -huh. Got a great deal of love for Dale Mitchell, who gave me my first opportunity to be a head football coach. When I did, when I didn't have a teacher credential, Jason was my first scholarship guy. Oh wow! He he got a scholarship to San Jose State, so it was like family. And then to go further, when I did the interviews, Dr. Gonzalez was a uh, really positive and a real big influence on me coming to this, uh, Corona High School. All three of those guys uh, have a big impact on what I'm doing and and why I came back. Corona Narco School District is second. Second to none, academically and athlete, athletically, they do a great job. They embrace sports down there, and they just do a great job. So, so it is like a homecoming. There's a lot of faces I know. This guy's showing up every day, and they say, "Hey, Coach G, what can we do to support you?" And I think that's because uh, uh, they I built that kind of relationship with my player, where I've been like a father-like figure, and. Uh, it's exciting getting back there, and it's exciting that I think we're going to do some big things at Corona. Fantastic, Coach. And then lastly, uh, every coach uh, has, um, uh, you know, you've been able to post an overall record over there at, at Sanji, uh, 64-33, and 33, and four straight uh, San Andreas League titles. Uh, again, you know, now you're going to have people like Norco Centennial uh, to deal with. What do you think is going to take uh, to now get that team into the playoffs? Well, first of all, we're, we're fortunate that uh, if we do make the playoffs, we don't dump, jump into the <laughs> Division One right. and, 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 and hang with, with those kind of guys. But at the same time, uh, like I said before, it takes a great coaching staff. Right. Uh, Dan Binion is my defensive coordinator. He's a former Centennial coach. Uh, Steve Silverman, who I've been with several places, is my O.C., we have a supportive administration from Dr. Gonzalez to Jason Mitchell. And then again, we just got to be in the grind. We got to 
build the kind of football football that excites young men. And I think we're we're in the spread of offense. And so they're excited about that. I think defensively we're going to be aggressive and come at the at the people that excites people. Next thing is we're going to be about getting kids to the next level. We find that to be be important and huge. And so I'm an old school guy with a new school flavor. That's how I kind of describe it. I heard that. And so we're going to ask for discipline, but we're going to make football fun, exciting, and we're going to be passionate. And that's the thing. If you ever talk about me, I think that's what people get. I'm passionate about the game. I'm passionate about you. Young men being successful, and and that's going to elevate that program to uh, new heights. There Fantastic. You go. Well, again, Coach, I want to I want to make sure we thank you so much for making it down. I know you I know you came down with the hiccups, man. For, but thank you for 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 for, for gutting it out. I mean, you're a true <laughs> football coach, right there. You gut it out. You know what I mean? Hey, well, this hiccups uh, <laughs> it's been a chronic thing the la- last two years. But hey, first of all, thank you guys because you guys are doing great things in the IE. Uh, and, and it's always a pleasure. And anytime you want me, I'll be I'll be here no matter what. I appreciate it, Coach. So we much, absolutely man. do. So you know, we're looking forward to a good season. Um, you're you're over there. I mean, it's no easy task. You're in the league with Norco. You know, with uh, and then there's a guy over there named Logan. If you never heard of him, so but we know that you guys are up to the task, and you guys are going to do some really good well, things. Don't forget, there. you know, King and yes, yeah, and yes. Roosevelt and and, yeah. and you know and San, San Diego is quality football. But I'm looking forward to the challenge. And nothing, one thing you could never say about me, I ain't scared. I there there you go. Yeah, I remember last year when you said Arroyo Valley wanted it, and you gave him, you gave him that business. <laughs> I, well, hey, we'll never forget oh, that. Man. We'll never forget that. Arroyo you know, Valley, don't, don't we don't coming for you. Oh, hey, we're going to mess with Nota Vista for a second. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. And, man, that was great, man. Hey, Kenny, I love you, man. <laughs> and, and, one thing that I, and one thing that's made me uncomfortable this whole interview is he has on the ring. Yeah. Uh, he has on the ring. I yeah. see Bruins on there. Oh, yeah. So he, oh, he, he, It's a commitment, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. But again, like I said, Coach, thank you so much for coming out, man. We're really excited that you made the transition. We know you're excited. We, we know it's obviously it's going to be a good thing for your, yourself personally and uh, for your family. Uh, it's going to be great for Corona, man. So we're excited for you, sir. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And then one thing, uh, you know, we, before we go out, I want to do this promo because I remember we had the National Signing Day. Yes. And we were fortunate. And what, your, your quarterback, what was his name again that came out to the oh, very first yeah, one? Oh, yeah, the first one. That did, he, he did 2000 and 2000. Dave and Busters. Yeah, that was Nate uh, the, n- Nate Matters. No, 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 no. It was a quarterback before Nate. Before Nate. It was a, he did he did two thousand yards uh, receiving. I mean, passing there and two thousand yards uh, rushing. Tyre. Tyre. There it is. There it is. There it is. Tyre Rasheed Mills, who was uh, uh, a freak of nature. Man, boy. that boy. Play some football. Man, that boy was real deal. I mean, yes. I, I I remember we because we went uh, we we saw him at the. Um, uh, we the, saw the, the All-Star, All-Star game. game yes. was happening at Corona that should have been MVP. Should have been there. Was no yes, question. Should have been MVP that game. The MVP no question about the it. Yeah, Ty so. was a special talent. But let's not forget, Nate did two and two, and Caleb came close to doing two and two too. So <laughs> that's just a product of uh, what y'all offense. do over there. But what I'm saying, I was getting blessed with some guys. Yes, yes. no doubt about it. And then one thing that I like, the, the thing when we had that National Signing Day, and that's when we were able to meet your lovely wife, and she let me, she let it be known she's a Bruin through and through. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, so she let me know. That, but one thing, the reason I was saying that, Coach, is make sure you let her know we are doing something for the sports mom. Yes, we are. My wife has always been my team mom. We're doing something. So all the Inland Empire sports moms, we're having the ultimate Mother's Day uh, giveaway. So talk a little bit about that, Eternal. What all will they get with this with this promotion? Well, it's going to be huge. Uh, right now, we're going to be giving away a all-inclusive uh, spa package for two. So it's not just like, you know, the, the lady got to go there by herself. She can either bring the mate or she can bring one of the girls with her. Uh-huh. They, they, the girls love to go with the girls. I don't exactly. Know what, you exactly. Know, you know, my so wife we, didn't take me oh, when no, she went yeah. to Glen the girls, they She's love like, to go. no, I'm taking my friends. Oh, like, no. Okay. They want to go. They want to go. They want to <laughs> talk about you and talk about why you ain't giving them enough money. All exactly. Right. So, so the girls, so again, so you get all includes a package. You get you get a, a, a massage. Uh, you get a facial. You get you get lunch. And again, this is all for two or, uh, over at the Great Glen Ivy Springs. Ladies, you haven't been there. You are missing out. And then we're also uh, including a hair makeover uh, by renowned hairstylist Sherry J. We're excited about it. Hey, Absolutely. Well, you mentioned wife, so let me just make this uh, shout out to my wife, who's a Hall of Famer at UCLA. I saw oh, that wow. on your Facebook. Oh, yes, Hall of Famer man. At UCLA. Hey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
when you talk about athletes in the family, she just looks at me and like, you know, yeah, she's you like, ain't the real you deal. Ain't the real deal. Yeah. I mean, you that's ain't the real deal. And, 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 and I know, I know you deal. had to be excited about that, man. Well, I, mean, I was super thought. excited for her. Uh, she, you know, when you talk about it, she was a state high school champion back in her day. Yeah. Jumped over 20 feet. Wow. And so, you know, those marks will still be really good today. today right now. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and uh, she went to UCLA and competed with uh, Jackie Jordan. And, and Flo Jo. Yeah. So she was with some, some, some young ladies. Deal. Wow. Who, who wore the real deal? Great Foster just came down. Uh, he was there at that time with James Owens. So those were some studs. Nice. And she's part of that studly group. There I you go. That. And then he looks at me. Yeah, he's he like, like, I, I, you know, I no, was no, no. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> I watch from the sideline. Yeah, I hear you. And then name drop your wife? Uh, Lisa Gordine, I, I said it. Yeah, oh, don't, don't. Yeah, hey. Lisa Gordine Davis. So there you is. go. There it is, right there. Happy wife, happy yeah. life. Yes, oh, without, without a doubt. Absolutely. Yep. But Absolutely. again, Coach, thank you so much for coming out, man. We appreciate your time, sir. Okay, thank you so much. Have there a great day, go. guys. Let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break, and we will be right back to close up the show. Friend of the show. So this is. Uh, Fourth or fifth year he's been here. Right. You know, we started this journey in 2012. He had to think about the quarterback. It's, it's, he's been coming around so long, man, so that, we love yeah, it. We yeah, love that it. That was beautiful, man. I was out there. Yeah, yeah, and he got, yeah, he got <laughs> some stuff. So. He's like, I got a couple guys went to him, exactly. too. Exactly. <laughs> I, I produce athletes, you know? So, so Coach Ranji, the new head coach at the Corona High School. Yes, Thank you so much for coming in. Let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts. And stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year, we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. What's up? This is Nick Young of the LA Lakers. You rock on IE Sportsnet. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. What a show, Eternal. We're, we're pretty excited. Uh, we had Coach McMaines from Riverside Carnegie School that you went to. Yes. Um, last week we had Ramona on. Now we had your elementary school on. Yeah. Um, and then we had Coach Ron G from uh, the new coach at uh, Corona. And we're excited about these promos we're doing, man. Salsa Festival. You, Like I tell people, man, my favorite food, in the, uh, the my favorite food, period. I'm from California. Right. So you can only imagine what my favorite food is. Oh, it's Mexican food. Guys. Exactly. Well, exactly. It, and let me tell you something. I'm still trying to uh, enlighten people with what soul food is. Let me tell you what my idea of soul food is. It's collard greens with no pork. Uh-huh. Uh, black eyed peas uh-huh. with no pork. Uh-huh. And some salmon. And some salmon. You know what I mean? That's my, it. My idea of soul food is a quesadilla, carne asada. Because if you want to get me out, that's what you're gonna need. <laughs> right. That's what you're gonna need for me. I don't I don't <laughs> eat the soul food. I right. don't do it. My mother, she couldn't understand why I didn't want to eat what is grits. I was like, that is slop. 
to just put some sugar on. Why do I need to decorate? Yo, hold on a second. Some, some fish and grits. <laughs> I, I Yo, I, I murdered some fish. You tripping. Yo, well, I do some fish and grits right now so fast. No, no, thank you. But let's yeah. go ahead and get up out of here. Remember, the, the Mother's Day contest is yes. going on. And then the Salsa Fest tickets, we got those as well. Hopefully we'll see G Holla out there. We'll go represent. Yeah, guarantee. G. Holla, you know what I mean? If it's not too late, it's not not too early for him. Yeah, absolutely. Right. He'll be recovering. So <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to IE Sports Net Connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here. Live on Fox Sports, 1350. You're listening to IESportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet, every Saturday morning, 8 a.m.